In two years, you're gonna be like, what did I miss? I hope that you came here and have since posted on your social media platforms at minimum once a day. Why? You in sunny California. Here's an idea. Take a picture of a palm tree and say, any yeses of where I am, drive engagement. Take a selfie in beautiful window light and say, I'm getting educated. I'm one of the rare few people who've actually excelled at what I do. If you have any questions, like, let me know. Then tomorrow, you take a picture with Deanne. You take a picture with other people. You take people who are a part of your team and you say, this is what it feels like to do life with people. And then on your way home, you're gonna give the three tips that you learned and hopefully give a shout out to Jasmine Starr about how you're gonna show up differently when you go home. Can I get an amen? That was four days of content I just gave to you, so don't go and waste it. Are we going to use it? Are, how many of us, and don't even front because God is watching, how many of you are going to show up for the next four days? Four days. Thank you for keeping it real. The other people don't want to win is bad. Okay. <laughs> Barometers of success is when people are talking about me now on social, if they're using words like inspire, impossibility, and consistency, then I know it works. And for many of you are already feeling overwhelmed, and I'm here to give you the gift of simply doing what I do. Can you create weekly tutorials on how to style clothing? Yes. How to wash clothing? Yes. How to use one piece three different ways? Yes. That's three blog posts in a week. Weekly tutorials, turn on Instagram Live, do your makeup in one of your favorite shirts, have your hair up in a messy bun, and about 15 minutes later, take your hair out, zhuzh it up with some spray, put on a sparkly jacket and say, all right guys, see you later. Okay, uh, going live on Facebook. Be like, okay, so I have, I just was talking to Deanne backstage and I am founder of Social Curator. I do monthly group coaching. They come in. I did not know at the time I was gonna be cr coaching and critiquing a member, excuse me, a retailer of LuLaRoe and I went to her Instagram and Facebook profile and I saw that she did this wild, amazing thing where she went live on Facebook with another LuLaRoe representative, a retailer in a different state. They were both streaming live and they were bringing out their pieces and say, I only have this one in a medium. Let me know right now, leave a comment here and I'm flipping between the pages and they created QVC on Facebook, tapping into other audiences because they weren't selling the same product. And it had the QVC quality because they're like, oh, I only have one medium left. Damn, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. We just wanna buy and we wanna know why we're buying. So if you need practice, QVC, turn on your laptop or your phone, call a friend who has a different product line and you guys go back and forth. Post polls on Instagram. Okay, so I have this jacket. Would you wear the printed tee underneath or would you go something solid, okay? And now Instagram stories, I don't know if you guys have seen, they're called the layouts. They allow you, layouts are basically templates that you can drop photos in. You can go two, you can go four, you can go six. You guys have polls built in for telling people how to shop. And anybody who says, oh, I really like the red one, you're gonna DM them and say, what's your size? If you would like, buy one, get the second one for 25% off. Hey, anybody. I I'm, all, I'm here for it. I mean, nobody wants me to be a part of LuLaRoe because I'd be out here going on cruises. I'm gonna draw myself like a pink Cadillac, you know? It's like, I just, I just go out there and I'm like, all right, you want me to wear cute clothes and talk about it? Okay. If anybody can't see the gold mine in front of you, I, I'm going to kindly ask you to wake up and do it now. Do it messy. <laughs> Do it scrappy, do it scared, do it wrong. Let them judge you, let them scoff, let them talk, let them judge. And when you take your family on a Disney cruise because they laughed, bye, bye, bye. I ain't got time, I ain't got time. I ain't got time to have your judgment not pay my bills. And if you are going to talk, and if you are going to talk, tag me and spell my name right, because I'll take it anyway. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like legitimately, I came in, what is wrong with me? Nothing. I'm fabulous, but if you're scared, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> These are just some ideas, because I will tell you, first, hear it from me. I do not know what I'm doing, but I do it anyway. I am not smart. I'm not funny. I'm not witty, I'm not rich, I'm not popular, I'm not cool. I am definitely not an influencer. I'm not charming, I'm not lucky, I'm not any of those things. But you wanna know what I do? I make you feel something. Good, bad, or ugly, I make you feel something. 
And everybody in this room, from the church mouse to the walrus, can say, I make you feel something. And that doesn't cost anything. It goes to those who are brave. It goes to those who are willing. It goes to those who are desperate. And it goes to those who are hungry. How many of you will say, I am okay not to care about what you say, and I'm going to still show up anyway? My friends, that is a branding review. There will be many people who walk out of this room and cannot stand me. I'm okay with it. Do you trust me? Because if you trust me, you will do the work. And I'm okay with that too. I want you to take what you have and make it work. I want you to build a brand by showing it is what you do, not just who you are. And I want you to use your branding words to measure your success. If you put on that word fabulous, and in two or three weeks, somebody said, you know, Janine, she's just fabulous. You're doing it. Congratulations, you're doing it. Before we get into q and I'm going to bring the house lights up, and we're going to get some two microphones to go right around. I want to ask a question for grounding. I'm going to ask you, how are you going to define success? How are you going to define your success? I think it's tempting to be in a really successful room and follow other successful people. And as they are vacationing on their yacht, and as they turn the keys to 90210, and as they get their new Land Rover, it's tempting to feel a certain way about it. But if in the process you get your Land Rover and your yacht and the keys to your house and you realize it was done in a vacuum, that you realize in the process of getting the things and the toys and the tools that you thought left you empty because it took you away from the things that mattered the most, your children, your spouse, your friends, and your family, what you got was money. You didn't get success. How many of us are taking the time to define what it means to be your version of success, not just rich? What does it take for you to say every day I'm closing my computer at 3.30 so I can make a homemade meal for my family? I'm a success. I'm going to take my parents out, and every time I take my parents out, they're never going to pay for another meal in their life. That's success. I'm going to retire my partner. That's success. So when every single night you're making your meal, and when you take your parents out and you pay for their meal, and when you saved up to take your family on a European vacation, you're not saying, oh, this is just what we do. No, you're saying, I'm a success. This is my version of a success. And even if I don't have the Range Rover, and even if I don't have the yacht, even if I don't turn the keys to that house, which I hope I do, but if I do, I will have done it on my terms. That's not the success. The journey and who I do the journey with is Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.